many are you are you vegetarian, Bos? No, no, not at all. I was going to say no, because the last time strike... I seen you, you were sat in a wine bar in Sutton Coldfree with a cigar in your mouth and a glass of red wine. <laughs> <laughs> Talk Sport Clips of the Week. <laughs> Time for the Clips of the Week. Mm. And Andy, would you care to kick us off? I would, and we start with Jim Proudfoot with Team News. And on the bench, Young, who if he comes on, will be making his 200th United appearance and the 500th appearance of his career. Matter, Rashford, Bay, Daily Blint, and a couple of others that I should have written down that didn't. <laughs> I, 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 my Jim's honesty. Yeah, I do it's too. a very rare fox paz, <laughs> and, uh, and at least he was honest about it. Of course, it's the mm. best way. Yeah. Now this is John Hartson uh, inadvertently mm. letting slip news of a new Greek signing at Swansea. Every single season for the past three or four, Paul Clement won his last four games last season as manager. Mm. Miraculous. I think it's Miraculous. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> tremendous. Stavros Miraculous is uh, is coming in from AEK. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yes. And enjoy life in the championship. And we can't see David Ginola joining our old mate Andy Smart and his comedy store Improv All Stars. No, not really. Let me put you in Wayne's position. Okay, mm. you Wayne Rooney, you're 32. Men ain't not. You're right. <laughs> oh, just play just, along with just it. Just play along. That's the old point, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Wouldn't be much of a night at the comedy store. So you're Wayne Rooney, but I'm not. <laughs> no. Uh, anyway, here's uh, newsreader uh, Jenny Barsby with Showbiz News. And Ed Sheeran made £28 million last year. That's more than any other young British museum. Oh, I love the old Ed Sheeran <laughs> Museum. It's really good. They've got a old room with his shirts in, just with his check shirts in. You have your hair dyed red. Yeah, they've got, well, they've got nice. that special. They have an exhibition room, and they've like famous, famous gingers through the years. Adrian's got his own little bit there, so it's like a hall of fame. It's good, isn't it? So, uh, what's next? It's the moose, a sweltering in the heat at Watford, Newcastle last weekend. Well, it's so hot here today, Adrian, that Rafa Benitez has taken his jacket off. He's still got the uh, the kind of weight, weight coast. Weight coast? Uh, yes. What's a weight coast? Well, something Moose would need, a weight coast. I think a three-piece suit always like a weight coast. Yeah. yeah. And here's a caller to uh, Jim White. You can't blame, as you said earlier, uh, appointing Sam Allardyce or David Moyes or Roy Kinnear. I'd love to see Roy Kinnear, <laughs> sadly no longer with us, but he would have been great actor. managing in the, uh, yeah, look at Steve Evans about him, I would imagine, the four, <laughs> or an actor from the Three Musketeers and all that. Now, this is Alvin Martin discussing Andy Carroll's row with David Moyes. And I think he's somebody that is going to be so vital, but it's important that he apologise to the manager, and the integrity of that dressing room is sacramount. It's, it's the most important thing. <laughs> it is. It is sacramount. It's, uh, it's sacrosanct and it's paramount. So that means it is sacramount. I like that. Yeah, it is good. Now, this is Sam Matterface at Chelsea versus Huddersfield. He takes on two red shirts. Willian eventually centres it. One deflection, two, three deflection, four. Five deflection, six deflection, seven deflection more. You're it, Sam. <laughs> Faye Knight's Bagsy, no returns. I still think he did it deliberately. But we'll <laughs> and here's the TalkSport Quarter of the Week to Jim White. Much time wasting, whether you're playing at the top of the league or the bottom of the league, everybody does it. It's a waste of time. Talk Sport Caller of the Week. Yeah, you heard it here first. <laughs> time wasting is a waste of time. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so, uh, this is uh, John Hartson, he's back, and he's talking about his beloved Swansea and getting very PC, I thought. Mm. When a team is relegated, it affects the whole academy, it affects the kit lady, the team man. Yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> why, why not? not? Yeah. A, why can't that be the way it's Normally the other way around, but why not? Exactly. True. And it doesn't sound like travel reporter Jamie Sercom is particularly happy in his work. Talk sport, traffic and travel. It's been one of the worst bank holidays for a good number of years. Hmm. I think the sun's still shining, mate. You'll be out by six. Quite enjoyed it. Go have a pint, sit in a pub garden, <laughs> cheer up a bit, and it might never happen. So this is mm. uh, Nigel, by the way, on Fisherman's Blues now with an interesting text topic. Mm. I don't know if you heard at the top of the show, we were talking about picking a celebrity team, basically celebrity f f ladies that fish, female, famous female anglers. And um, we've got some great ones. Um, Sarah in Maidenhead has said Opera Winfrey. Who? <laughs> <laughs> opera? Well, yeah, she'll answer that. She, she'll give you a bit of a dirty look, but she will answer to it, won't she? Yeah. Yeah, what's next, Andy? Oh, so listeners continue to respond with their own suggestions. Yeah, they did. 
listen to this one. Um, morning, Nigel. The beautiful Terry Hatcher, who played Lewis Lane. Yeah, we all remember Lewis Lane, don't we, in the <laughs> Superman film. I was yeah. going to do a variation on Clark Kent, but I thought better of it. <laughs> but Lewis Lane. Yeah. Um, and it does seem... Terry Hatcher, as, a, as a, somebody who likes to go fishing... I know, you wouldn't imagine I just that, can't you? imagine her, like, in the uh, Beverly Hills Tackle Centre, <laughs> going in buying uh, two pints of maggots. <laughs> the Beverly Hills Tackle Centre. <laughs> yeah. Well, imagine the rates. You'd have to really <laughs> on sell... On Rodeo a, Drive. Yeah, you'd have to sell a lot of reels, <laughs> won't you? Yeah. We're right next to Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Fantastic thought, isn't it, in there? Just, I love to put the old gentle on me tongue on a cold day. They say it's an old wives' tale, but it works for me. It's Terry Hatcher in there. It would be fantastic. Yeah. Great. Had a great day. Just Desperate fishwives. I thank you. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> for a chub uh, uh, on the pole, just with luncheon meat and cheese. It would be fantastic, wouldn't it? She's in there, in, in the old bivvy. It would be fantastic making a cup of tea, Terry Hatcher. Well, Eva Longoria. Down in the old Barston Masters. <laughs> It'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Yeah. Really? And then she sits in Nigel's off. Keith can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she does the show. And she does the show. Terry Hatcher's Fisherman's Blues. That'd be oh, great, wouldn't it? And, the, and the, yeah, there's what me and thought. Nigel. And i I got to go. I'm meeting Nuddy at four. <laughs> some night fishing. She's got a very deep voice, isn't she? Yes. Anyway. <laughs> Finally, right. it's competition time. Mm. Uh, no prize, just uh, just a bit of fun. And I just want you to listen to this clip from last weekend and tell us which Midlands football club our reporter, Nigel Pearson, supports. Time one game and Ron's come in and he's, he's going mad at everyone. And, he lo- and it's all quiet in the dressing room. And Bozzy and <coughs> coughed, something like that. And Ron said, what do you say? <laughs> he said, I never said anything, Gaffer. He said, don't answer me back. He said, I've got a good idea for you, son. When you kick the ball, try and keep it in Birmingham. That might help us. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Bozzy? 